What if I told you that the future of travel might be under the sea? In the coming years, mega underwater tunnels could be the next big thing in transportation. Just imagine how it will feel to travel through submerged tunnels, whizzing through the water in a high-speed train and exploring the wonders of the deep. It sounds unbelievable and unimaginable, but this could soon become a reality. In this video, we'll take a look at the groundbreaking underwater tunnel projects that are currently in the works. We'll kick off our list of mega underwater tunnels with the Fearman Belt Fixed Link, a proposed tunnel that would connect Denmark and Germany. This project has been in progress for many years. If it happens, it will be one of the biggest underwater tunnels ever made. But will it really change how we travel? And what problems does it need to overcome? Let's explore and find out. The tunnel project will bring significant changes. It will consist of 79 sections totaling 217 meters in length, similar to the design of the Drogden Trench. It will have two road tubes, one emergency tube and two rail tubes. Additionally, there will be 10 service elements, slightly shorter at 85.7 meters, but wider and taller with a basement to hold all the necessary technical equipment. Now let's see how underwater tunnels are constructed. There are two main ways to build tunnels, boring and immersion. Boring is used for deep water tunnels over four or five kilometers long, while immersion is used for tunnels that go through shallow waters. With immersion, you dig a trench on the sea floor, lay a foundation, and then lower pre-made tunnel sections into place before covering them up. The Fiamman Belt is a big example of this. It's going to have the longest immersed tunnel ever at 17.6 kilometers. That's longer than Turkey's Marmaray Tunnel. The design by a group called Ramble, Arab and TEC will have both road and rail, breaking records in a few different ways. The deepest part of the trench for the Fiamman Belt is 35 meters, and the tunnel sections will be about 10 meters tall. So there's going to be a lot of digging around 20 million cubic meters of soil. They'll need special dredges to handle it, like grab dredges and trailing suction hopper dredges. But why build a tunnel instead of a bridge? Well, it's better for the environment, less affected by weather, and can handle crosswinds better. Now let's look at some specifics. The tunnel sections will be rectangular, 40 meters wide and 10 meters high, with four passageways, two for cars, two for trains, and a service lane. There will be separate tubes for northbound and southbound traffic. Denmark will cover the initial bill of 42 billion Danish kroner, which increased to 5.5 billion euro with additional improvements and 1 billion euro for the German rail connection. Financing will come from state-guaranteed loans paid back by road and train tolls, with Denmark leading the funding and Germany focusing on land-based facilities. The European Union is also providing a subsidy of 600 million euro to 1.2 billion euro. The total cost is now 7 billion euro. The project faces challenges such as engineering and environmental concerns, including building near an active fault line and preserving marine ecosystems. It's expected to open in 2029. While the Fiamman Belt Fixed Link project is impressive, there's another ambitious project, and it's being planned right in China. I'm talking about the Shenzhen Zhongshan Underwater Tunnel. The Shenzhen Zhongshan Underwater Tunnel is an amazing engineering feat. It's 6.8 kilometers long and 46 meters wide, making it the biggest undersea steel shell concrete tube tunnel in the world. Once finished, it will be a vital part of transportation in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, GBA, allowing people to travel between major cities in just an hour. The project includes two bridges, two artificial islands, and an eight-lane tunnel. Construction began in 2017, with work starting on the East Artificial Island. This island is like the main hub of a big project, it has a lot of important stuff like tunnels and docks to help things run smoothly. And it's not just about the island itself, it's also about connecting cities. They've built tunnels and bridges to link cities like Shenzhen, Zhongshan, Guangzhou and Hong Kong, making travel between them much easier. In June 2023, they finished building the world's longest and widest undersea tunnel made of steel and concrete. And by April, 
they completed a huge 17-kilometer bridge called the Linding Yang Bridge. In 2024, they're planning to open a new link between Shenzhen and Zhongshan, which cost about $6.7 billion. But it's not just about the money, it's about making travel better in the Greater Bay Area. Once it's open, you'll be able to get from Zhongshan to the Shenzhen Baoan International Airport in just 30 minutes instead of two hours. It's not just a tunnel, it's a big change. Similar projects in Europe and Asia, like the Fearman Belt Fixed Link and the Shenzhen Zhongshan Underwater Tunnel, are also connecting people and places. One such project is the George Massey Tunnel Replacement, which will improve travel between the Canadian cities of Richmond and Delta. The George Massey Tunnel was originally built for four lanes of traffic, but has had problems with traffic jams and safety issues for a while. To fix this, a project called H99 was started to make it six lanes. However, because the tunnel is old and has ongoing problems, Premier Christy Clark announced plans in 2012 to replace it within 10 years. To figure out the best replacement option, the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure asked the public for their ideas in 2013. Premier Clark then said in 2013 that they would start building a new bridge to replace the tunnel by 2017, which was a big change in transportation plans. In 2015, they released detailed plans and said they would spend $3.5 billion on a new bridge and improvements to the roads around it. They also looked at how this would affect the environment and got approval from the BC Ministry of Environment in 2017. However, even though there was progress, some people didn't agree with the plan to replace the Massey Tunnel, especially the mayors in Metro Vancouver. They wanted the federal government to look into it more closely for environmental reasons, but the government said no in 2017. Then, after the 2017 general election, Premier John Horgan's NDP government decided to cancel the bridge project. They wanted to do more research and talk to the Metro Vancouver mayors to find a better solution. In 2019, the Metro Vancouver mayors suggested building a new eight-lane tunnel instead of a bridge. Finally, in 2021, the provincial government approved the construction of the eight-lane tunnel. It will have a pathway for pedestrians and cyclists and will be built after talking to indigenous communities and getting environmental approvals. The tunnel is expected to have benefits like causing less visual and agricultural impact, making it easier for cyclists and truckers to get around, and fixing traffic problems on Highway 99. It should be finished by 2030 and will cost about $4.15 billion. It will be free to use and should be a good way to travel for many years. Another tunnel project that's making waves in North America is the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel expansion. The Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel is being expanded to help with the increased traffic and reduce congestion. They're building a new tunnel to add more lanes for cars, making it safer and better for everyone who uses it. The project started in 2017 and is expected to finish in December 2026, costing almost $1 billion. This will double the capacity for cars going south, making traffic flow more smoothly and benefiting commuters and commercial traffic. Chessie, the tunnel boring machine, began her initial excavation at one island, the CBBT's southernmost island, back in February 2023, and will now place 9,000 tunnel segments to complete the one-mile Thimble Shoal Tunnel, which will run parallel to the existing tunnel. It's expected to take around 12 to 14 months for Chessie to complete her one-mile dig to Two Island, where crews are working on the receiving pit for Chessie and the support of excavation. The expansion project isn't just about making more room and easing traffic jams. It's also about making sure the tunnel is safe and strong. The new tunnel will be built with modern engineering and safety rules so people can trust it to get them across the Chesapeake Bay safely. Plus, having two tunnels instead of one will make the whole transportation system stronger and better able to handle emergencies. So the future looks bright for this important travel route. And there are even more amazing tunnel projects to explore. Next up is the Helsinki Tallinn Tunnel, which will connect Finland and Estonia. The Helsinki Tallinn Tunnel project, led by entrepreneur Peter Vesterbacker, plans to build a railway tunnel under the sea between Finland and Estonia. It will be about 100 kilometers long and cost 15 to 20 billion euros. This tunnel will be the longest undersea railway tunnel in the world, 
beating the Channel Tunnel in length. The tunnel is important because it will connect Finland to the rest of Europe's rail network, especially the Rail Baltica project, which is making rail travel easier across Baltic countries. By matching Finland's rail gauge with the Baltic country's gauge, the tunnel will allow high-speed trains to travel smoothly between them. Right now, more than 8 million people travel across the Gulf of Finland every year, and this number is expected to increase to 30 million by 2030. The tunnel will make travel between Helsinki and Tallinn much faster, cutting the journey time from 2 hours to just 30 minutes. The plan for building a tunnel between Helsinki and Tallinn involves using 60 boring machines to dig two tunnels, one for passenger trains and one for freight transportation. They're also planning to create two artificial islands that can hold up to 50,000 people. This project will not only improve transportation, but also provide other benefits to the area. Some of the funding for this project comes from the European Regional Development Fund, showing how important it is for regional development and connecting different areas. Unfortunately, the tunnel project is still in the planning stage. Finest Bay representatives have shared their ambitious vision for it, but it hasn't started yet. What do you think about building tunnels like this? Do you think they're good for the environment and communities? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on mega projects. Thanks for watching.